boys, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whichever is you today, and welcome to, welcome back to the ultimate Mamamoo ranking, where I go from beginning to most recent, in their official discography, song my song, give my thoughts, and put it to a list of most favorite to least favorite, which you can see in the pinned comment below the story so far. Right, I, I filmed these in, in bulk, guys, I filmed four to six episodes in bulk, so just FYI, I am actually recording this right after, right after, checking out Bad Boy, and if you check the pinned comment, the list so far, You'll see where Bad Boy is. Bad Boy came from nowhere. I've never heard of that song, uh, any snippet of it. I don't think even on the concert performance I checked out on my Patreon. I've never heard the title. It is an underrated gem, in my opinion. It is an underrated gem. Uh, fully playing to all of their strengths. Wow. Still reeling from it. Uh, so anyway, my star. I mean, it's Mama Moo. I love I love Mamamoo whenever they Mamamoo. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, let's check out my stuff. Oh. Do do do. Bo do do. Bass and beat. Sort of melodic flow there from Solo. These are what's it coming like, honey. We end this. We end this attacking me hugely lately. Epic epic I love that beat. Oh. Very cinematic sounding. Let's work up the nice guy. Oh. I don't feel like they've ever done a song like this before. It's really cool. So the uh, the range you got, my word. Love the chorus. Oh, the others in the back. Well, I think that's what's hot in the back. Oh my god, that's solar in the back, right? I love this beat! Someone did an insane high note then, and I need to know who that was. Who was that? There was an insane, like, high note, not only because there was a belt, but I mean there was a high note falsetto going in there too. That, that, though, there was so many great ad-libs at the end there, but that one at the end was insane. Um, just like Bad Boy, where did that song come from? That was amazing. I loved the beat of that. It was slow but and super impactful, if that makes sense. There, there was a lot of power coming from each of them as well and how they performed that song. I loved the chorus. I loved the chorus. It sounded... I don't know how to describe it, but it did sound cinematic to me. I don't know why. It just had a cinematic beat to it, like a 
like I don't know. It's like like <laughs> no, no, I was gonna I was gonna describe it in a really cheesy way. I won't do that. Um, but like it was very cinematic in that beat. The the beat was hitting so hard each time, and the vocal melodies were, that were going with it, and the chorus was super cool. Nitpick, I because of what we had from Bad Boy, I wish Moonbeals rap rap was longer. That's a nitpick for me, um, because I was enjoying it so much. I I would have loved for it to go on for a bit of a bit more of a bar or two. So just to make the song a bit longer, like I wouldn't have cut anything else out of the song instead of it. Just make the song a bit longer because it's quite a short song, like average, I know, three minutes twelve. Um, but make the song like twenty seconds longer, having that Munbill rap verse extended. That'd be my only um, nitpick. But I adored it. I adored that song. I don't feel like they've ever done a song like that, which has gotten a bit more of a. They've done cinematic ballads. I know that. But like that cinematic hard hitting edge to it, I don't know if they've ever done a song like that. Like going through the songs in my head that I've heard, but with that pace, I don't think they ever have. That was awesome. Looking at my list, these songs coming out of nowhere, I love it. I love it. But um, anyway, looking at my list, start from top to bottom. Uh, I wouldn't put above egotistic de calcomane. I miss you, windflower. Um, oh ah uh, yeah, woohoo, paint me. Bad bye. Sleep talk. Morning. You don't know me. Midnight summer dream. Angel. Gentleman. Starry night. Shampoo. Go go baby. No more drama. Mr. Ambiguous. Hmm. I would put that. Oh, this may. This may. Uh, People may not like this, but music is subjective. Uh, I'm going to put that My Star actually above Mr. Ambiguous and below No More Drama. No More, no more Drama has grown on me loads, guys. To be honest, No More Drama, if you ask me today, it would not be in the position it's in. It would actually go higher. Same for Go Go Bebe, too. Um, and if you want to go a bit further down the list, same for Star, Wind, Flower, Sun. And uh, if you want to go down even further, uh, Words Don't Come Easy. Those are a few examples of songs that would go quite a bit higher if you asked me today. Uh, but yeah, I adored that sound. Adored that sound. And they all nailed it too. All showing, all showcasing their talents once again. Uh, loved the fact that with the beat, as slow and as impactful as it was, there was quite a bit of speed to what they were doing at the same time. And again, that power. Oh, that really good album. Really good album. And... I'm saying that now because uh, well, I won't be ranking this, guys. I don't I don't rank um, short instrumentals, whether they be intros, uh, interludes, or outros like we're about to check out. Uh, but I still want to check it out still to add to the experience. So this is Four Season Outro. Great concept, by the way, the whole thing, Four Seasons. For anybody who's curious, I actually checked out the concept on Patreon. crackling at the end there too um that was really cool and what's really cool about that guys is of course i do when i do the other ranking series too um there's quite a few intros outros and stuff like that and most of the time really well made uh instrumentals by the producers rarely has there been ones where there's been vocals in there too uh but it makes sense with mama Moo that you know if you got these vocalists just showcase them in every damn song or outro you can or anything you know um and that just felt like a great wash of sound 
uh, vocally that was coming across me there. Like that's the longest I've closed my eyes uh, during um, checking Mama Moo's music out. And there's something about for anybody that's curious, like when you close your eyes, I think it's just you focus more on your ears and stuff like that. Uh, so it does actually, if you just want to listen to something audio wise, it does actually improve your experience in some ways. Um, so I wanted to try that then. Uh, I, I know I didn't have my eyes closed the whole time, and it's when you see Mama Moo music videos, guys. You don't really want to close your eyes, if you know what I mean. Um, but uh, yeah, it definitely did enhance that, and that was really nice. Uh, again, really good release, this. Really good release. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. So that gave me a great idea. You want to see more Mama Moo on the channel? Uh, let me know what you thought of my star. <sighs> is it an underrated gem? Like I think it is, or do you guys think that uh, it's fine? Oh. Nah, not for me. Let me know in the comments. Music is subjective, that's the wonderful thing about it. And please subscribe because plenty of Mamamoo on the channel already in the Mamamoo Reactions playlist. Plenty more on the way, so I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, please take care. Much love.